Yes, let's get straight into it. Morning, Trudy. Morning. So you say that spring has arrived on makeup counters and beauty counters. It certainly has, in abundance. So what's new with the makeup trends then? Um, I think, think of sunsets and sunrises, and those are the colours for spring and summer. So beautiful tangerines and pinks and um, just the most amazing colours that are really luminous. Excellent. So basically just go and look at my Instagram stories. Yeah. There's a lot of sunsets yeah. and not so yeah. many sunrises actually, but a lot of sunsets. <laughs> so what about the skin? What's going on? Um, there's a really nice trend emerging and it's about prepping the skin but it's also about mixing shimmer and matte together and I've got some clever products to show you how to do that. Um, I think less is more now with skin, you know, not covering it in a full face of makeup but actually picking some highlights that you want to highlight, you know, points on your face you want to mm. highlight and actually just priming your skin, you know, wiping out anything you don't want to see and just adding luminosity. It sounds perfect. Um, eyeshadow palettes are always, they always look great but you always tend to use that one colour and then the rest just sit in your drawer for ages. Yeah, and I think that's sort of you just get into that habit don't you mm. I mean most makeup artists you'll notice don't just use one color they'll blend so I mean I would always say to somebody blend a brush across all of them the lightest colors tend to bring your eye forward and the darkest colors tend to recede so if you're wanting to hide to be a bit clever and pull out you know the, the uh, just above the lashes use a lighter color um, and to do some contouring use a darker color but I blend them all together you know just blend those colors together and get this gorgeous wash of color on the eyes you don't have to be too clever these days exactly you bought them, you might as well use them Exactly. Uh, so what about well, use them wet, that's the other thing, wet them, wet them with a brush and turn them into an eyeliner. Nice tip. Speaking of eyeliners, what about eyeliners? Eyeliners have gone totally shimmery, so beautiful lustrous shimmery and mixing black bold liner with a dash of shimmer underneath to highlight the dark. Um, there's some amazing eyeliner, liquid eyeliners, if you don't know how to use a liquid eyeliner, go and have a lesson on Beauty Counter. It's really easy to do once you learn how to do it. Is it true? Dear? Yep. Anchor your arm on a table and actually line into a mirror looking down. Okay. It's okay. when you go at yourself with your with your liner that you All end right. up poking your eye your, your eye with your liner. That's a good tip. What about blush? What's on trend? Um, if you don't use blush, then really you're missing out on looking ten years younger. To be fair. Um, colour on your face actually lifts your face, it actually looks you, makes you look more youthful. Blush, again those sunset shades, pretty pinks, um, tangerines, corals, um, lovely bronzers with hints of pink in them, so all those beautiful sunset and sunrise colours are just so fashionable at the moment. Sounds gorgeous. Okay, so what about lips? Are we matte or gloss at the moment? Well, it's definitely shine more than matte I'm seeing for spring but there's some metallic in there as well so some really lovely metallic shimmer that actually does dry on the lips so it's not too gooey so your hair doesn't blow through it mm. but it's got some life to it rather than just a liquidy clear gloss so um, yeah definitely shimmer is really 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 I mean you can't ignore it yeah, it's, it is beautiful, it's hot. isn't it? But you're right about the glossing, isn't it? Isn't that a first world woman problem, though, when yeah. you, you, your hair glow, glow, blows into your lip gloss? Um, let's start with some stuff. Then. Yeah, so, I okay. Talk about the products that you bought well, in. let's start with skin. Um, primers galore. YSL have got an amazing range of primers. Um, blue, pink, and orange to wipe out all that dullness. And, blue? Yeah, blue to give your skin radiance. Um, you just need a tiny little bit under your makeup, and then you need less foundation. Um, SOS, from, SOS primer from Clarins. They've got six shades too absolutely gorgeous this has got an anti-pollution ingredient Hang in it on, as well trying everything today yeah we're yep. s speed dating with makeup I now. should have actually um taken the, the 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 pen off my hand from a note that's right you can know. prime it um, yeah I was prime that out of there oh it's gone yeah. know, Too Faced which is a great brand at Mecca they have a matte peach spray so if you've put your makeup on and you look a bit shiny you can just spritz over the top and your skin is matte instantly oh it smells and like it peaches smells, well apparently it's got fresh peaches in it and fig honey milk, so it's good for your skin as well. Sounds very fancy. Um, and also, you can't go past like a Max Factor little glow highlighter, just on the you know tops of the cheekbones, along the nose, the chin, brow bone is another area that's beautiful for highlighting. And that one, you use your fingers or a brush. It's really really easy. Just throw some glow on the skin. Um, I love these colours from Hourglass, I think there's five shades, they are like Ooh. liquid gold and you can just pop those in the centre of the eye just to give you a spotlight with some mascara, bit of bronzer on the skin, I mean they're just so dreamy and beautiful, that's right, that's all you need and it's there all day. And also this makeup takes you from day to night, so if you're in the office you can put a little bit on and then amp it up for night. And this is clever, Revlon have launched a range called Colour Charge and they've got 
powders for your lips. So those are powders that you would put on top of your lipstick to give it a bit of luminosity. Oh, your lips. Lip okay. powder. And Rimmel have got some fantastic lip art, what I was talking about before, the metallic shimmer on the lips. So again, just in the dot on the bottom of the lower lip, just to in give you some, uh, like a hit of shimmer. Um, it sort of acts like a bit of a spotlight. If you've got gorgeous lips, show them off. Fantastic. And I guess the most clever thing oh. is, if you're a stationary junkie like me, and remember the Bic pen, yep. Clarence have launched a pen, amazing for, tra uh, for travel, with all of your eyeliner and lip liner in it, and you just click and go. That is so awesome. Yeah. Trudy, thank you so much. Absolute pleasure. For more from Trudy, you can head to her website, beautyeq.co.nz.